Good morning, I'm Mary Ellen, and today I'm gonna to talk about my favorites, and then I want to announce the 11 winners from my giveaway. And of course, there's gonna be some chit chat, and I will just label that chit chat when you know you do those little things that you can move around the video. Yeah, I'm, I've been doing good doing that. Of course, Jim's successful surgery is top of my list. He's doing great. But because he had surgery, I was able to work on my Ancestry.com because I had a lot of time just to kind of sit there and uh, that's kind of unusual. And I love Ancestry.com and I've been a member since 2004. And it it's just, I enjoy it. I know some people think, hey, you're just looking up dead people, but I love seeing where my ancestors came from and trying to figure it all out. Well, they have something that is new to me and it may not be new to you, but it's called through lines, T-H-R-U-L-I-N-E-S. And I had noticed them, but I never even took the time to look it up. So I looked it up and it is very, very cool. You have to have a DNA test through Ancestry.com and I did that as soon as it was possible. And you have to have, and I can't think what it's called, where you list your ancestors, you have to have one available. That's the way they can find it. But it is so cool because you can, you can click on a name and you can follow the through lines. And I tell you what, I'm kind of interested. On my dad's side, my great-great-grandfather may not be my great-great-grandfather because there's people. Anyway, it's just so interesting. So I have to really delve into that, but I've enjoyed that a whole lot. And something else I did, which was interesting. For $20, you can do like ancestry traits and it would go anywhere. I mean, I, there were probably 30 plus things that they could tell you if you are more likely to have or you're more likely not to have. But it'll tell you anything from personality and on the appearance, that, on the appearances right now, there are 16 and 14 of them were applicable to me. The facial hair and there was something else. Beards, you know, that wasn't. But I was surprised how many things were spot on. Two things that weren't right is I don't have, my earlobes are not affixed to my head. You know how some some people, their earlobe just goes straight into their face? Well, I have an earlobe that hangs down and it said that I was more likely than not to have the one that's kind of attached to my face. It said that I was most likely a brunette, but if I had children, they could easily have red hair. Well, I was born a strawberry blonde with the emphasis on strawberry and I've had red in my natural hair all, all my life. It's it's not really, it was kind of like a light auburn. It was never really dark, but it always had red in it. It also said like I don't have freckles, I don't, and that my ring finger is longer than my pointer, which it was true. Anyway, it was really interesting. And I am somebody that if there's a little cilantro, just a small amount, I can deal with it, but if it has more, I do not like the taste at all. And it, and it knew that. I think that's so cool. It was wrong on my personality. It said I am more likely to be an extrovert than an introvert. And really, like if there's 16 hours in the day, in the social day, if you have a social day, I'm an extrovert for two hours, but the other 14 hours, I'm definitely an introvert and I always have been. So that wasn't right. And I am supposed to remember my dreams and I'm excellent at remember my dreams. I dream in color and I have very vivid dreams. But it was just interesting. And I know as things evolve that they'll have more things. But what made me interested is if there is somebody that they're searching for that uh, broke the law, and they can't find them and they can use their DNA, they can get pretty close to what that person should look like. On Ancestry DNA, they've also broadened where you're from. And I'll put a screenshot here of uh, the regions that I come from. And I'm definitely more Scottish than anything. They used to have Scotland, England, Wales, several of the group together. And I was like 58%. And, uh, but now they've broken it down. But I think that's really interesting. And I've done that for, like I said, years. But it sure was a favorite in through the month of May. Something else, this is something that makes me happy. I realized, you know, I love my microfiber bath towels. They're just so light, they're easy. And I like my microfiber cleaning cloths. 
but you can't use fabric softener. Well, I have been, and I'm not kidding you, if I'm addicted to anything, it has been April Fresh Downy. I don't know how many refill bottles that I usually keep stocked up because I have, a, my washing machine is front loading and I would put it all the way to full every single time, no matter what I was washing. So what I do with my microfiber towels, I put my laundry detergent in and where I put um, fabric softener, I put white vinegar and I'll usually put about a quarter of a cup of white vinegar in the load. I'm not kidding you, they come out great. They don't smell like vinegar. Well, I thought, well, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to try that on my regular towels and washcloths because, you know, I use a lot of kitchen towels. I use a lot of hand towels, and they did great. So I bet, and even on my clothing, I have cut it down to just a scant amount, and I fill it up to below minimum just so I can have a little of it. But I, I do love the smell, and I have for as long as I can remember as being an adult. But it has to be April Fresh. It can't be anything else. I did buy two new tops on Amazon. I bought one and I wash everything before I wear it. So I, it said a hand wash, but I thought I put it in my zippered mesh bag because it has buttons on it. And I washed it in the washing machine and I hung it dry. And I'll put a picture of somebody wearing it up here. But it did up beautifully. It's 95% polyester and 5% spandex. I normally would order an extra large, but I don't know where these were made. So I ordered an extra, extra large. I could have easily ordered an extra large, but I did not know it when I ordered my second one because I ordered the second one after I washed it in the washer and I, before I even tried it on, I washed it in the washer and then I hung it up to dry and I thought, hey, that's wonderful because you know I'm a slacker and I don't want to iron. So I ordered another one, and this one is in the animal print. Well, I went ahead and did the extra, extra large, which is okay. I don't know if I'm gonna order any more. I really don't need any new ones, but every year I like to get a couple of new tops, believe it or not, But and I have to retire some of the tops that I have on so I can have my hangers. But I would definitely order it in an, in an extra large, but I like them. I went and got one of my uh, laundry bags to show you. I got these in a set of five, and I think they were about $8 and they're wonderful. I've shown them before. They're big, nice zipper. I can put two blouses in it and still have plenty of room. Anything that has buttons or any fabric like this kind of a fabric, I don't want it rubbing up against anything. You know, I, I usually, if I buy something, I like it and I don't, I want to take good care of it. So I, I'll usually use laundry bags. Everything that I order from Amazon, I have Amazon Prime. I like it, I've had it for years. I've only had two things that I have ordered and that had both to do with the couch that I kind of made up for Jim to, for, into, for his healing bed. But the rest of it, I get free shipping and, and I, I have never liked to shop. I have never liked, I have, except for back in the day, I used to like to go to nice department stores and go to their cosmetic counters and uh, and I, I enjoyed that. I, but I just wanted to go there, maybe go buy shoes, but. You know, that's the degree of shopping that I like to do. I was catalog and anyway. With Amazon Prime, I also get Amazon Prime TV. I get like two million free songs and any song I ever put in, I can find. I don't have any trouble. And also I get a free ebook every month. So I like it. I bought this because of Angie Hot and Flashy. But before I show it to you, I want to point something out on my face. This is some kind of a bite, and I've had it for about nine days, and I haven't been putting anything on it. I haven't been putting foundation. I haven't been, I haven't even put skincare around it. I've just let it alone, haven't put any ointment, and it is getting better, but it was really large a few days ago. So anyway, I'm just watching it. It's going to be fine. It's better, but it was really, really large. Okay, now what I bought because of Angie. I bought a new mirror, and I have ordered three of them for gifts. And I will warn you, when Angie mentions something, I think they go out of stock because I don't get these until July. But I ordered, like I said, three as gifts and they're gonna be a Christmas gift, so that's okay. But I've had this light on the whole time I've been talking. I'll be able to see if it helps or not because I'm gonna turn it off in just a second and show it to you. But like today, it's not very sunny out and 
these two windows, I'm getting quite a bit of light. I'm not getting very much light over here. So I put this down to see if I can get some light on my face. So let's see. Oh, I think it did help. This is the size of the mirror. It's rechargeable. It has a stand. And now I'm gonna show you the front of it. It has a 10 time magnification mirror that will go anywhere. You can put it anywhere on this that you want and it stays. And then you just turn it on in the back and here is the light. And it's adjustable, the light is. And for me, it was it's perfect for two things. It's perfect for traveling because I have had, I wasn't traveling and I'd given my travel, what travel mirrors I had, I'd send them on with family to different places. So I didn't really have one and it comes in a nice carrying case. And I'm thinking it was around $25. I'm more than happy with this. And I think I'm gonna put it right here on my table because I do think it kind of evened out the lighting. When I edit this, I will see, but I didn't put on anything on my face. I just put on lipstick and mascara and then the navy eyeliner. I'm kind of nuts about, when I found out they made reader sunglasses, it literally changed my world. And that was probably, I'm not kidding you, maybe five or six years ago, and I've had the same glasses. So for Mother's Day, I got two pair. One of them's in my car and one I'm gonna put on for you. And here they are. And you can see my mirror. You can, see, you can see this little square mirror right here. But I really, really like them. I don't have to worry about taking my glasses back and forth to my car. I have a pair of my old ones in the van so I can always have my sunglasses and be able to read, which is a wonderful thing. I am still really pleased about the hair thickening products I'm using in my scalp. So I'm using one brand here and one brand here. But I told you, I said I was gonna start using the Revita Lash every other day in May. Well, I didn't, and I'll tell you why. I was brushing through my hair. I usually, when I brush my hair through the day or something, I go like this, and, you know, brush it from back, and I had hair in my hairbrush, and it was more than usual. And I thought, this may be the time of year that my hair naturally sheds, so it's not time for me to quit using that pump right there, because that's what I was gonna do every other day. But I can share with you something from January 30th, 2022 to March 15th, 2020 use, 2022, I use two pumps every day, right here and right here. So that's, I think it was 44 days. So that's like 88 pumps for those, that amount of time. And then on March 16th, I started just using one pump, and I'll show you what one pump looks like. I'll go like this, I hold it back, I do one pump, and then I just work it in. And I work it in really well, and it doesn't make my hair greasy. But anyway, that's what I've been doing. I'm gonna continue rubbing it. So, so far, I've had 100 and I think 73, 78 pumps, and I still have a lot less left, and I'll let you know when it's finished. I was kind of hoping that I could use one pump every day for a year and that would help me with the price <laughs> because it is expensive, but it is worth it for me to have a thicker part. That's And I don't put it right there. But anyway, this has been a winner. But I wanted you to know that I'm still doing it every day. And I just do it every morning when I get up and I don't think I've missed any days. Okay, and then I'm gonna show you a floor lamp. I, I don't like it as much as what I had before. Jim, I love halogen lighting, and I know it's dangerous, and I know to keep it away from curtains, but I have used a ha halogen, what I call a floor lamp, for at least 20 years. I don't know if Jim had a bad dream on the couch, but when I walked through, I, I heard something, and it was on the floor. The halogen lamp was on the floor, and halogen just puts off such a nice light, and it, there's not a lot of shadows. That's why I like halogen. But well, I could not find a halogen floor lamp anywhere. I looked everywhere that I knew how to look. So I had to have it because I've got a lot of light through the day, but I only have two lamps in there because I don't like ceiling lights. And I don't have can lights, and I'm probably never gonna have can lights. It's not as good as what I had, but I'm very happy with it. It has a remote control that you can turn it off or on, and then if you just touch it with your finger, it'll go off and on. 
and I'll, I'll put a picture of what it looks like. So that was a favorite because it provided, provided light, even though it wasn't my favorite, if I can find my favorite, that will be moved to a different room and I'll find it. So if anybody knows, let me know. And to my Built Bar friends, and yes, I have a code for Built Bars. I ate them for a year before I got my own code. And I want to talk about something that I think is delicious. It may not be your favorite, but this has been my favorite of all so far. And it is the Birthday Cake Puff Bar. It is so soft and it is so chewy. And it, to me, it tastes like, I mean, it tastes like it's really, really calorie laden. I mean, and, and it still has the 17 grams of protein, the sugars that I watch, you know, I, 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 I watch the net sugars and it's, it's really good. And they have quite a few puffs on their side. And when I got notification, I ordered more of the, I think these are called the yellow chirps and they're a little bit lemony and they're the puffs. But I, what they're doing as things are being brought out and people like them, they're putting them in their permanent line. I think it's always gonna be something that changes up. But I want to tell, talk to you about a few things before I announce the winners of my, the 11 winners of my last giveaway. First of all, there are men that are coming in and com commenting under your, your comments. And I try to get those whenever I see them, but what happens, they go back to older videos and it doesn't come to me. So I don't get notification of them. I can see them on a current video that I'm opening up and looking and I delete them because they're just people that say the same thing over and over. I mark them as spam and somebody else comes up and does it. So I'm really sorry about that. The other thing are there are people that are leaving comments looking like it's me with my picture. I talked about it several months ago. The first time I saw it, it was telling you that you were a winner and how to contact me. Anytime I have a giveaway, I announce the giveaway on my channel. And then I will have you leave a comment below and then I'll, I'll tell you where to email me. And what I've been doing is at, when I get that email, I tell the winner to go back on and leave a new comment and I tell them what to say. That way I know that I'm communicating with the right person. So I don't get scammed like I did a few months ago. And I'll put that video right there. And this is a video that I did the giveaway and I did a comparison of the before and after when I was talking. Something that I noticed uh, after I had done that video is how much thicker and darker my eyebrows are in 2022 than they were in 2014. And I can contribute that to two things because I do not put anything on my eyebrows with the exception of sometimes I put something clear hairspray, a brow freeze, or something like that. And I could not believe the difference in them. I also derma roll my eyebrows. I never had any luck uh, derma rolling the thicker part toward the middle. I didn't ever see anything with that, but I did see a difference in the tails, but I thought that was kind of interesting. So now I wanna announce the 11 winners of my giveaway, and I'm going to announce it alphabetically by company. I enjoyed reading all of your comments and the first name that came up was Terry O'Malley and she did not say the magic words derm skin or time and so she didn't want to be in the giveaway but I wanted to let her know she was number one. The first group of winners won the Dermatology Tinted Moisturizer with an SPF of 46. The first winner was Nicola or Nicola Bray. Congratulations to you, Nicola. The second winner was Emily Morris. Congratulations, Emily. The third winner was Lori Abercrombie. And I wanna congratulate you, Lori. The next winner of the dermatology is Eva Bothwell. Congratulations, Eva. And the last winner of the dermatology is Michelle Moore. The next group of winners will win the 20% Argaroline with Hyaluronic Acid and Matrixyl 3000, and that is from Skin Diva. The first winner is Mary Ann Folk. Congratulations, Mary Ann. The second winner is Cindy K. Congratulations, Cindy. And the last winner of, that, of the Skin Diva is Gloria P. 
the last group, I have five winners for the Timeless Glowy Kit. And in that kit is the Timeless Dark Eye Circle Cream, Squalane, Hyaluronic Acid, Vitamin C plus E plus Ferulic Acid, and the Matrixel 3000 Cucumber Spray. And the first winner is Gabby S. Congratulations, Gabby. And the second winner is Teresa. Congratulations, Teresa. The next winner is Joe Salmon or Salmon. I'm not sure how you pronounce it. Congratulations, Joe. The next winner is Missy C. Congratulations, Missy. And the last winner is Ziggy's Bookshop. Congratulations. Congratulations to all my winners. First thing you need to do is leave a comment below saying, hey, I won, and then I will reply to you and let you know how to get in touch with me and we'll go from there. I'm excited for all of you. Thank you all for watching and uh, I, I appreciate you. That's all I can, that's all I know to say. I appreciate you. It is all good. And I'll see you in my next video. Take care. It, good morning. <laughs> I don't, from the month of, of course, Jim's successful, my great grandmother, <sighs> is how they can, if there's a,